My name is Philip Emma Aguale. I am a supercomputer scientist. Right now, the state of the art is the fiber optic lines that is connecting the eastern and southern regions of Africa to India and to Europe and to the global internet community at fast, high bandwidth rate. And makes it possible for somebody in Lagos to surf at the same speed as somebody in London. Nigeria will become the third most populous nation in the world, according to the United Nations. When you look at internet users in 50 years, the most internet users will be in China, and the second will be in India, and the third will be in Nigeria. There will be more mobile phone numbers and internet email in Nigeria alone than in the United States. In Nigeria, they have one dozen digital villages, and each village trains about 300 people for six days. And that's like a drop of water in the ocean. We have to look at the big picture and do what they do in Europe and in the United States, which is we have to train 300 million people not for six days, but for every day of their life. And that's what we must do to bring Africa up to speed and catch up the rest of the world. The internet is the repository of humanity's knowledge of the 21st century. And so Africa needs to connect to that repository and connecting to that humanity's knowledge is the key to not only increasing the continent's scientific and technological intellectual capital, but alleviating poverty and reducing the gap between the rich and the poor nations of the world. Africa will never be able to buy 400 million laptops for 400 million children at the price tag of $100 per laptop but it can afford to buy one laptop per school and have that laptop in each school connected to the internet and that will be a greater value and that is a great investment that the continent and the people can afford. A decade ago, one in three nations in Africa were affected by civil war, either directly or indirectly with refugees coming over to their countries. A lot of that came due to arguments over election rigging. And if we can reduce or eliminate election rigging with electronic voting, there will be a permanent digital records of people's vote. And that makes it possible in the future to replace selection with true election.